In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up PHP on a Windows Apache server. This will be the follow up to my previous video that showed how to set up a Apache web server in Windows 10. So the first thing you're going to want to do is pull up a web browser and go to the PHP website. And once you're on the PHP website, there will be a downloads page. So you're going to want to go to the Windows download section. And feel free to just get the newest current stable version of PHP, that's fine. Should be fine for most purposes. Uh, go to Windows Downloads. And you're gonna wanna get this thread safe one. Make sure you get the thread safe one because it has what Apache needs. This one doesn't have those files by default. So go ahead and click this one and go ahead and download it. Once the download's complete, go ahead and click on it to pull up the unzip program. This is just Windows default unzip program. Yours might look a little different if you use like WinRAR or something like that. So you're gonna click extract all and then browse. And you're gonna need to create a new directory in your C drive or wherever Apache resides. So if you followed the previous tutorial, Apache is in my C drive just sitting here. So I'm gonna make a new folder right here called PHP. And this way I can go into PHP folder and then I can select it and unzip all of these files and that way it won't clutter up your C drive which I would definitely suggest doing. Um, so once it unzips it'll be in here like this and we're going to need to tell Apache how to look for PHP. So to do that just go into your Apache folder and go into the conf, conf folder which is configuration and edit your HTTP httpd.conf file. So you can just do open with notepad if you just have like everything default on Windows. And uh, you can see, and, and I've actually already changed this. So what I did is I pasted these lines in right here and I will post these lines into the comments so that you can just copy paste them right in. Uh, basically, before I pasted it, the file looked like this, just nothing at the top um, having to do with PHP. It's very strange to me that Apache doesn't come with some kind of template for pointing to PHP. But um, if you didn't have this code right here, you could just Google it and somebody would have this. Basically, what you're doing is you're telling it what modules to load and where to find the PHP files in the directory. So. All that really needs to change if you have a different uh, location of your PHP folder, just change these directories, it'll work just fine. In our case, this is already set up to match uh, the environment of our previous tutorial. So I'm just pointing it to the C PHP folder, and then you got these Apache DLLs and PHP 7 DLLs. Anyway, go ahead and save that and close out of it. And that has pointed Apache to PHP. Um, what you're gonna wanna do now is, since we made a change to this file, we're gonna have to go to services and we're gonna go to where Apache's running, which right here is Apache 2.4. Uh, go ahead and either if it's not started, click start, or if it is started, go ahead and click restart and restart Apache or start it up. Okay, now that should be running. Uh, just go ahead and do a little quick sanity check and go to your web browser and make sure it's still working. Um, if not, at this point, if you're so early in the tutorial that this isn't working, feel free to just go back to a few more steps or start the whole thing over. Um, typical things that could go wrong is if you just had a little typo in there. Um, you don't want any of these to be commented out with a hashtag. It should look just like this. So now that we see that that's working, we're gonna go into our directory where uh, we see this file. This is the Apache htdocs directory. And in here is the file from our previous tutorial where it says it works. And we're gonna put a new file in here just to check and see if PHP is working. So uh, go ahead and do new text document and create a file called pinfo.php. Uh, one thing that's going to be a little bit strange to new developers is this is not actually a PHP file yet. You see how it's a text document? So if it's doing that to you, this is just a quick little detour, bear with me. 
um, this is necessary. Go into File, Explorer Options, and go into View, and uncheck, uncheck Hide Extensions for Known File Types. So the way I got to that is you just go here, type in Folder, it'll pull this up, and then on this pane you go to View, and just uncheck Unknown, or Hide Extensions for Known File Types. So when you apply that, it's gonna stop hiding that extension. So go ahead and make sure that this is just pinfo.php. And it'll ask you if it's okay to change this file type. Click yes. Okay, now you have a blank PHP file. Um, go ahead and open it with Notepad to edit it. And paste in there, I'll put this in the comments as well these PHP tags. So it's a PHP open tag, PHP close tag, and then PHP info. You don't have to worry about the coding aspect of this per se right now. But basically this is gonna uh, show us if PHP is working or not. So if we go to slash pinfo.php, it should pull up this page. And this is how you know for sure that Apache is working with PHP right now. So you can see um, that it says uh, Apache is running the PHP version 7.4. Uh, there's probably something about Apache in here. Yeah, you can see it. It understands that this is Apache 2.4 with PHP 7.4. So now our PHP environment set up properly in Apache. And if we were to go write a more advanced script inside of a PHP file, um, you would be able to properly have the PHP code executed on the server side. I hope this video helped you and I plan to make a bunch more like it. So if you guys could like the video so that other people can find it. And I also do appreciate the likes and the feedback. Uh, it helps push my videos and tutorials up higher on the YouTube search. So if it helped you, uh, please like and subscribe. And thanks for watching. I really hope this helped you guys.